Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel and back into my home. Today we're going to be working on my master closet. This is one of the last areas that I need to do for our decluttering series. If you're new here, we've been working on a decluttering series on my channel. I've spent the last few weeks decluttering every room, every closet, drawer, and cabinet. If you want to get caught up on the series, I'm adding a link at the end of this video to the playlist. Okay, so this is the master closet before we started. Behind me is where I used to have my office, and then it's where my husband set up his office when the stay-in orders were implemented. We recently moved him into the room that used to be my photography studio. I'll link that super emotional declutter in the card above for you to see. It's a good one. You don't want to miss it. Before I started this video, I had my husband go ahead and help me move all those boxes over to the area where my desk used to be. And now I'm going to start decluttering and organizing my clothes. I'm going to go through here and get rid of things that I no longer want or need. I do this quite often, so I don't really have a lot of outfits that I can get rid of. But I am going to be ruthless and donate the things that I honestly do not wear, even if they spark joy when I touch them. In my opinion, the peace of an organized space outweighs the spark I feel from something hanging in my closet unworn. I would rather donate to someone who will love it and wear it. Another thing I like to do with my clothes is to color block them. I get a sense of peace when I see this type of order. It also makes it easier for me to coordinate my outfits. My husband's clothes are over there to the right. He'll be coming in in a little bit to organize his clothes. As I've mentioned in other videos, I don't declutter other people's things. I wouldn't want that done to me, so I won't do that to somebody else. Now once he gets rid of the things that he doesn't want, I will go in there and color block it for him. I've done it in the past and he really enjoys it. I'm going to go through and change out all my colored hangers for white hangers. I do end up seeing as I'm editing this that I missed a couple of hangers because I'm short and I can't really see up there. So once I'm done editing, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to fix those hangers. Anyways, I like to use all white velvet hangers for my clothes and then we use gray velvet hangers for my husband's clothes. The black velvet hangers I'm going to be giving to my middle daughter. You'll see me gathering them up for her in just a minute. I also have about three dozen black plastic hangers that I'm gonna be giving away on Facebook Marketplace. Before I take these down, I'm going to go ahead and take a picture and get it listed up on Facebook Marketplace as soon as possible. In fact, these were gone by the end of the day. Okay, now I'm going to work on mine and my husband's shoes. I have them in these traveling containers because I just never took them out after our last trip. 
I store some of my shoes in this hanging shoe storage, but the shoes that we wear daily stay in another area in our home. Okay, many of you know that I'm a former hairstylist. I have about two containers that are full of products that I need to get organized here. I do still occasionally do hair on my family, and I've trained one of my daughters to highlight my hair, so I have all the products that I need here in my home. If you're new here, let me introduce myself. My name is Michelle. I'm the mom to three moms and a son. I started this channel because I wanted to encourage young mothers to reclaim your peace through cleaning, organizing, and setting up routines. I post a video every week where I try to encourage and motivate you. My heart is for women because I've been there, I've done that, and if you will, I have the channel to prove it. I would love to have you here on my channel. Please subscribe and don't forget to press the notification bell so that you get reminded every time I upload a new video. Okay, we still have a few boxes that we need to unpack from when we moved in. This right here is a box of scarves and purses. I'm going to go through them and then I'll refill the box with the things that I want to donate. I came over here to grab this plastic file cabinet. I figured it would be perfect to hold some of my hair supplies. To all of my newbies, or for those wondering, it's rare that you will see me looking cute in these cleaning videos. Like you, I don't show up to mop my floors with hair and makeup done. I know that many YouTubers do, and while that gives a nice aesthetic, I just want my channel to be authentic and real for my viewers. But if you do want to see more of the everyday me, outside of the sweat and messy hair from cleaning, you can follow me on Instagram where I will chat with you more. I like to post more of my everyday life along with cleaning and organizing tips. You will also see me with my precious little ones who bring me so much joy. Now you're going to see me working on this side of my closet. I'm moving things around until it feels right to me. I like things to feel balanced and sometimes that takes placing items 
stepping back, looking, rearranging, going back, doing it again and again until I feel that everything is balanced. I know, I'm just weird that way. Okay, now my husband's going to come in and organize his clothes. He's also going to switch out his mismatched hangers. Once he's finished, I'll go back and color block his clothes for him. Right here, I'm talking to my little guy. I'm telling him that his aunt is coming over to pick up the big ball in the other room. I asked him if he can go get the big ball ready and put it by the front door. You'll see that he comes back with two little balls. He's just so precious. Take your time, you're not there, miss. Yeah, you might not be at your best, but it's fine. You're about to see a glimpse of my oldest daughter. She's 30 weeks pregnant and having a lot of round ligament pain. So she came over to borrow my exercise ball that I used to sit on in my photography studio. We are super excited for this baby to be born. My youngest daughter is also due and tomorrow we find out the gender of the baby. I did a video of her doing the sneak peek test so we'll see if those results were accurate. I'll link the video up in the drop down cards and then I'll announce the gender on my Instagram this week. Okay, now I'm gonna grab all these black hangers and get them ready for my middle daughter. She'll be here in a little bit to pick up the little guy, so I want to be sure to have all these ready for her. I'm going to color code his clothes in three sections. I do his long sleeves, his t-shirts, and then his polo shirts.
Now I'm going to go ahead and vacuum up this area because I'm going to be adding storage boxes over on this side of the closet. I use white banker's boxes. I've been using these for many years. I like the uniform shape and color and they also have tops. Oh, and they also hold a lot of weight. When I was a young mom, I used to number them and then I had an index card file that I listed everything in that box. Now I number them and I add the number to the pick on my phone of what's inside the box. You do have to put these boxes together, but it is well worth the time and effort. Again, you'll see me being nitpicky about getting these boxes balanced. If I were tall enough, I would do it myself, but luckily I have a tall husband. And thankfully, he doesn't get super annoyed with me. I'm having him take the shoes off the rack because we need this area to put more boxes. This rack will also be going home with my daughter who's taking the hangers. I tried to find a matching shelf to the one that's to the right right there, but I wasn't able to find it. So I'm going to go ahead and just store boxes here. Okay, now we're on day four of organizing this closet. Here's an up close of the boxes. I got these ones from Walmart because they are so much more expensive on Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and put together these boxes because I've got some things that I need to get into them. I'm going to unpack some of the boxes that are behind me to put into these white boxes. But again, I won't be doing my husband's stuff. I'm gonna let him do that in just a little bit. Our goal is to get all the boxes behind me organized and put away. Now we're not able to do that completely in this video. We will soon get that done. We're wanting to move my husband's exercise bike there and we need to get that done fairly quickly. I'm going to use this box to hold all of my old day timers. I like to go through these and see the things that I have in here. I try not to take things out because it's almost like a time capsule of what was going on the year that I used that day timer. I've been carrying around a day timer with me for many years. And because of COVID, I really have not been able to use my day timer this year. It really is kind of sad because you look at it sitting there and it's really not used. At least not in the way that I used to use it. Do you use a day timer? And if you do, do you have a favorite brand? I'm currently using the Erin Condren one. Still trying to get used to it. These are all school papers for my oldest two grandchildren. They and their mom and dad used to live with me, so I've collected all their papers.
I'm going through these things and making sure that what I'm keeping is something that we really need. I like to keep papers that they wrote on or colored themselves. There's also a couple of yearbooks and I also found a couple of pair of my granddaughter's glasses. Again, I'm going to be ruthless while I do this because we really don't need to save every single paper that our children wrote on. Okay, we're going to dive into a few boxes back here. Many of them will need to be picked through more closely so that we can shred things that have information on it. I'm also going to help my husband transfer some of his memory boxes over to the white banker's boxes so that we can keep the closet cohesive. Like I said, we plan to get this area cleared out of all the boxes so that my husband can move his exercise bike from our bedroom into this area that was once set up as my office. I'm going to go ahead and take out the pictures from the picture frames and donate the picture frames to Goodwill. And this is the box that I was talking about that we're going to have all the papers in that we'll need to go through and shred what we don't want. This is the tedious part of organizing, but it is so well worth it if you can just get it done. While he's working on that box, I'm going to go ahead and work in this area. These two shelves are where I keep my jewelry and my perfumes and a few of my keepsake boxes. Okay, we're finished with the closet for now. I'm going to go ahead and give it a good vacuum, and then I'll give you the final reveal.
Okay, this is the final reveal. Let's go ahead and look at the before once again. That way we can see how far we've come. I also encourage you to take a before and after when you organize. You need to be proud of your accomplishments. In fact, I would love for you to tag me on Instagram so I can be inspired by you. Okay, this is the after. Wow, what a huge change. It did take me five days to accomplish this. When I organize, I like to do it in bite-sized pieces. I don't want to be overwhelmed and stressed, so it's better for me to just break it down. But whatever way works for you is the way that you should do it, because our goal is to just get this done. It feels so nice to have this area complete. Do you remember when I used to come over to your house every day? These are the things that are left to declutter. But I think all in all, we've done a daggum good job and we should be proud of ourselves. I hope this video motivated you to declutter a very hard area in your home. Go ahead and break it up in bite-sized pieces and eventually you'll get it done. And don't forget to take a picture and tag me on Instagram. If you haven't already, I hope that you go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to like and comment on this video. It really helps me in the YouTube world. And here's a link to the decluttering video playlist. Don't forget to go and check it out. I'll see you next week in my next video. Stay blessed, my friends.